Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. I welcome all of you once again to this victorious daily devotion in the ever-loving and victorious name of Jesus Christ. With Christ in us, we have victory. Topic for today's devotion, Where our heart is, there is our mind and eyes too. Proverbs 23 verses 26 and 33 My son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. Your eyes will see strange things and your heart will utter perverse things. It's really good to be healed from cancer, AIDS, coronavirus, TB. But the greatest healing in life is the healing of heart and saving of soul from eternal damnation of eternal fire. I came to know a person who was suffering from the last stage of cancer. He was about to die. But because of fear of death, he came close to Christ. By the grace of God, he was healed miraculously from cancer and became a healthy person. Instead of being grateful and be a witness, within one year, he turned back to his old habits of drinking and smoking and spending time with wicked friends. After 15 years, he died. He has ended with a wicked, deceitful heart and his soul to eternal damnation. Well, there are many who are healed but gone back to evil deeds and perish for eternity. So my conclusion is, healing of heart is the most important miracle you can have. Heart is deceptive and full of evil. Unless we cleanse it and confess and repent of our iniquities every day, we all perish. And we need to have Christ in our heart to be the resident and president of our heart. King David knows a human heart is full of wickedness and deceptive, unholy and impure thoughts. He prays a sincere prayer with a true repentant heart, saying, Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, a clean heart, and renew a right spirit within me. If our heart is good, we will do good and edifying works. If not, we will do deceptive works and see evil things of world with our eyes and with a wicked mind and thereby bring reproach and shame to ourselves, leading us to eternal destruction. Here are few inspiring quotes. Live with a clean heart, love with a clear motive, sleep with a clear conscience. I repeat, live with a clean heart, love with a clear motive, sleep with a clear conscience. Brian Hostel. God favors a man with a pure heart and a clear conscience. Chris Lumpkin. A clean heart won't let your mouth speak dirty. Purify the heart and it will cleanse your speech. Ben. Lord, help us to always have a clean and pure heart and to cleanse it every day so that we be away from this deceptive, wicked and cunning world. In Jesus' most marvelous name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you.